Hello, welcome, I'm Ellie and this is more Lego. So surprising, I know. Okay, now this is, this is the Lego Friends. This is another add-on set for the vet clinic, which was released earlier in the year. This is one of the smaller sets. Really cute little scene though, little diorama. So this is the helicopter, the rescue helicopter. We've already done the ambulance. So this is the helicopter, because of course they have a helicopter. <laughs> and they must all have their helicopter licenses as well, because those, those sort of things like definitely get just given to teenage girls. Anyway, there are 249 pieces in this set. It's $28 here in Australia. And the colours are just glorious. I'm really loving the vibrant coral that's the uh, primary colour for these vet sets. Vet sets, that's really hard to say. Then this is Mia. So we have got two mini dolls in here and there are also three animals. I think. And now this top is one of my favourite Mia tops. She's got some really cute, like different styled clothes, which is really nice. I like Mia's. I like Mia's outfits and the Lego Friends really nice. She is joined by a big bunny and a little bunny. So there's the mama bunny and the baby bunny. I'm just assuming that they're related because, you know, they, they're, they're here in the same set. And there is a crab, which is currently busy, you know, snippeting at the butt of the baby bunny. And uh, out of the second bag is Stephanie. Stephanie is wearing the skirt which has got those really cool little stripes down the side but she's wearing the vet clinic top which I think I think I said in the last one the ambulance set that it only comes in those two sets. So this top yeah is 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 kind of kind of a limited edition and it's it's, her. it's a nice color on her. I, I love the color combination of the blue and the vibrant coral and the pink. Who would have known that all those things go together? <laughs> Not me. I would never have tried that. Okay so this is where we're going to be creating a little diorama, a little scene, building a little scene. Quite literally we are building a story and it's going to be a rescue story involving water and how can I tell that? Because we've just built a watery piece and we're putting some sand on it. So some, because if you remember the vet clinic is actually it's actually located right on the beach or it's right next to the beach anyway this is cute once again they've hidden a heart in there and the sand on the top is heart shaped I mean it's not overtly heart shaped it's only if you're kind of looking for it it's really nice two lotuses sitting over here on the beach I don't know that lotuses grow on the beach so maybe it's not I don't know. I'm not going to overthink this. I think that I think that will lead to <laughs> to chaos. So we build a couple of little waves here. We got a rock in the middle, and this is where the crab hangs out. So let's put the baby bunny on top of the rock too. That's that is lovely. Okay, now so that's its own little separate part of this scene. This bit is back over on the land. And we got green, and we've got we've got a building a tree. And this is this is a, this is a quite, you know, this is, a, this is a tree with a decent number of pieces. It's a good build. I like it. All those curved over pieces. I wouldn't have tried that. That looks really good though. And on the tree is a sign with a, it kind of looks like a GPS, but I assume it's the map. I assume it's a map of, this could also be used as a really nice extension to the park, to the Heart Lake City Park too. It would go on really, really nicely with it. Oh, this is fun. Okay. All right. So we have got our tree ready. We are putting, uh, oh, we've got an outcrop of water. Can you have an outcrop of water? I don't know that you can. But anyway, there's, there's a watery bit going out there and we're building a pontoon on top of it. So that's going to be reaching out onto the water. I'm not going to say outcrop again. I desperately, <laughs> desperately want to. I don't know what word I'm actually trying for. Okay. So purple on the top of the pontoon. And a little yellow seat back here with a basket because, you know, it's not an outing if you don't have snacks and a seat. So we've got a basket in there. We've got a strawberry and a waffle or it could be a biscuit. Actually, I think the waffles look an awful lot like um, like uh, stroop waffles, you know, like the Dutch cookies, the really thin ones with the, with the caramel inside them. But you heat up by sitting them on top of your tea or your coffee. They're so delicious. Anyway, I got distracted then <laughs> by cookies. Got a nice mug. We've got our life safety, leave life savory, life savory circle. Life so, life saver. Life circle savory thing. I'm going to leave that alone too because you know exactly what I'm referring to, but I can't find words for it. And some binoculars, which are almost at the right height. That's a, and that's actually a really good height for a mini doll. So this is so cute. There's steps going up the back. Oh, this is so lovely. These nature scenes that Lego has released this year for Lego Friends. So this one and the waterfall and yeah, just all the little, yeah, the, the, the little sets, but they're so 
beautifully crafted and so interesting to look at and they make really nice display pieces. Now we're up to bag number two and we are building the helicopter which is one of my, I have to admit, one of my less favourite things to build but you know they get whacked into into Lego friend sets every now and then. It's always interesting to see how they go together. So we got a couple of, what are the floaty things? Is this a pontoon as well? Is the thing <laughs> reaching out over the water a pontoon and these floaty things on the bottom of the helicopter also called pontoons? Is that possible? Actually, anything's possible with the English language. It's so nuts. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I, I applaud anybody who has had to learn English as a second language. It is ridiculous. Rules. We have none. So this is, this is the, this is going to be the cabin of the helicopter. And I'm just trying to figure out, it's kind of, it's a weird forward, forward heavy shape at the moment. Just trying to see how this is going to come together. Oh, we've got a little, a little space at the back where you can put the rescued animal. Oh, that's really nicely designed. <laughs> oh, ooh, and, and my favourite vibrant coral is the big accent on the side, on both sides. And this is, what is this? This is, ah, uh, is that the control panel? That looks like a control. Oh no, hold on. So we've got some medical supplies here. So this is the door for the back. Interesting choice to make it round, but uh, I suppose it works. Because uh, there are other round things too. There's round bits on the side. So all the round aesthetic works okay. Just, yeah, um, yeah, nice, okay, all right. And now, now this bit's going to give it the shape that I'm looking for, the shape that it's missing, the shape that will turn it into a helicopter. So, a helicopter. Hmm. So these go on either side of the tail fin. Do you call it a tail fin on the helicopter? I'm not really up on, I'm not really up on helicopter terminology, so I'm just making stuff up, but feel free to correct me in the comments. I am always happy to, <laughs> to learn all the words that I muck up or that I uh, basically never knew to start with. These are cool. What are these little accenty bits that go on the side? I don't know what they are, but they actually add some really, some really nice shape to the top part of, whoa, this is nice, of the helicopter. And I assume some realism, though I haven't looked at helicopters too closely. Now I feel as I'm saying helicopter too much. Feels weird. And some hearts, some little coral hearts to sit on the top. And these roundy ovary bits here. And now, now we just need the big connecting bits. So this is the cabin, which is ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> and then we've got the flippy bit on the back. Oh, propeller. Um, is it called a propeller? A propeller is what comes to mind. And this is the big propeller for the top, which spins very nicely and freely. And there's, oh, okay. So this is for you to put the animal on. So that's going to make it so it's a little stretcher. So that makes it nice and easy to get them in and out of the back of the helicopter. You know, as as small build helicopters go, this is a really nice one. It's, it's, it's it, like, it's bright, but it's not too garishly colored. The colors are complementary. They look really nice together. And it really is very pleasing to the eye. And the whole scenario is so cute. It's so cute. I don't know what's going on, but we obviously need the helicopter. I'm pretty sure, you know what, I'm gonna blame the crab for whatever event you can see if it requires a rescue. Or maybe the bunny's just out here on this little island in the middle of the, of the middle of the pond. Or the ocean. No, I reckon it's a lake. It appears to be a lake to me. What do you think? All right, let me know in the comments what you think. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so before you, you know, wander off into the big world of YouTube. And I will see you with another video really soon. So yeah, until then, <laughs> I'll see you then. Bye.